What drove America and the world to visit Disney World when it opened in 1971? Well, it probably wasn't the food, and while seeing Mickey is always awesome, I don't know that folks would travel thousands of miles just for that. No, you know what it is. It's the attractions that fascinated the world. There were 23 attractions on that first big day, and there are still quite a few of them running in Magic Kingdom today. A few of these might be a little dated according to some of our readers, but they still have that piece of magical Disney history that makes them attractions you have to do at least once. So the real question is, did your favorite Disney World attraction make this list? Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Today we're talking about the four top opening day attractions according to you. We went straight to the reviews section of AllEars.net to compile this list directly from your reviews to help your fellow viewers decide which opening day attractions are not to be missed. Your pick for the fourth top opening day attraction in Walt Disney World with a rating of 7.92. The Enchanted Tiki Room The Enchanted Tiki Room in Adventureland of Magic Kingdom is a short musical show featuring songbirds and a catchy song that will definitely get stuck in your head. This was the first attraction to have audio animatronic figures in Disneyland and then Disney World. It was a technology created by Disney Imagineers that was integrated into most of the attractions that followed, though since then the technology and controls have gotten much more sophisticated. And while it's a fun show, the Enchanted Tiki Room is also a great spot to sit down, rest, and cool off on a hot day in Magic Kingdom using the technology of air conditioning, which actually wasn't invented by the Disney Corporation. Fish and Goofy said, this is another classic must-do ride at MK. Yes, it is a little dated, but these are the original animatronics created in the theme park. This song is one of my all-time favorites, and I listen to it at least once a week at home. This is also a great place to take a load off for a few minutes and relax during a busy park day. Enchanted Tiki Room is one of those classic, like Walt era Disney experiences. So it very much is a must-do at least once because it's historic. I will say, there was a little like Tiki Room under new management thing they did where Iago from Aladdin and Zazu from The Lion King took it over. And that was absolutely wild. In fact, I thought that I made that up for most of my life until I came to this job and they were like, no, under new management was a thing. And I was like, I really thought that was like a childhood dream that I had. It's wild. My favorite part of the Enchanted Tiki Room is definitely when the French birds come down from the ceiling like it's Folly's Vergere and they say Gigi, Fifi, Suzette, Alouette and they sing let's all sing like the birdies sing tweet 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 and I love that we all get to sing along the other part I love is when the woman is um, doing the sort of tribal sing it again um, breathe love breathe love oh my goodness when she goes into the whistle tone like that we see that it makes me crazy in the best possible way mm -hmm. obviously I love Enchanted Tiki Room okay the Enchanted Tiki Room is a 10 minute long show with the first version opening in Disneyland in 1963. In Magic Kingdom, the Enchanted Tiki Room opened in 1971 as a pretty much identical show originally called Tropical Serenade. The signature song in the show is the Tiki 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 Room. In the tiki 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 room in the tiki 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 room all the birds sing words and the flowers croon in the tiki 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 room by the sherman brothers welcome to our tropical hideaway you lucky people you and the show features over 225 audio animatronics including exotic birds and more inspired by the south pacific the attraction has changed a bit over the years, but is currently very close to the original attraction in Disneyland. Reviewer Chef Dion of Lima said, Love, love, love this attraction. I hope they bring back the pre-show. But this classic attraction is always a hit for me and the wife. You usually only have to wait the length of one show. You are lucky if you get to go into the tiki room. That's a classic. It's an institution. 
Sure, the song may get stuck in your head a little bit, but that's part of the fun. The Enchanted Tiki Room has been sponsored by the Dole Food Company since 1976, which means, you guessed it, Dole Whip. And you can grab a Dole Whip from the nearby Aloha Isle before or after your show. We recommend after. Reviewer Percusizing said, A fun show to sit and not only relax, but even sing sometimes. I love the Four Parrots, a classic. Recommend get some Dole Whip afterwards. I think that's what I just said. The Pros. This is a great spot to sit down, rest, and cool off on a hot Florida day. It's right next to Aloha Isle. Hello, it's the perfect time to grab a Dole Whip. Even though it originated in Disneyland, this is an OG Magic Kingdom attraction and a major piece of Walt Disney history. The cons. Is the air conditioning really worth getting the Tiki 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 room stuck in your head for the next three hours? While the audio animatronic technology was revolutionary at the time, we've come a long way since. There are some loud sound effects that may startle some of the younger kiddos. Your pick for the third top opening day attraction in Walt Disney World with a rating of 8.16. Peter Pan's Flight. Okay, so technically, technically, Peter Pan's Flight opened in Disney World on October 3rd, two days after opening, but it's close enough. This Fantasyland dark ride opened by expanding upon the same ride in Disneyland by adding Peter Pan and audio animatronic figures. Guests get to board a pirate ship and sail over London and Neverland with scenes from the animated film Peter Pan. Reviewer Fish and Goofy said, This is a must-do ride. It is super cute and perfectly brings you into Neverland and the story of Peter Pan. The ride is a little short, especially for how long the queue can get, but ultimately worth it for the magic they bring to the ride. When Peter Pan's flight opened in Disneyland, you were experiencing the ride from Peter's perspective. So you, the guests, were playing Peter Pan flying over Neverland and flying over London. When the ride opened in Disney World and in Magic Kingdom in 1971, Imagineers wrote Peter into the story. So you as a guest got to experience the story alongside Peter, but you still got to see Peter, our hero. And that was important to a lot of guests. Peter Pan's Flight is a family-friendly ride with a fun interactive queue through the Darling House that several of our readers mentioned as a fun perk. The ride operates by suspending ride vehicles, aka pirate ships, from the ceiling, another Disney innovation that brought people from around the world to experience. And even though you can wait over an hour for this one, the ride is only three minutes long. Reviewer Captain Quick said, Okay, so our first time ever may have significantly altered our enjoyment of this ride forever. We waited over 90 minutes for this ride that lasted just a few minutes. Ugh. The wait times can be brutal here, but it is a Disney classic and is overall well-themed. Certainly ride it early or pay the price like we did. Lesson learned. Peter Pan's flight has been incredibly popular since the beginning. It still has one of the longest waits in the park. Before the closure, it was always over an hour and it was one of the hardest fast passes to get as well. So while I adore this attraction, it does usually have a pretty long wait. So it's better to go first thing in the morning or make sure you get that Genie Plus for it. So the wait on Peter Pan's flight can get really, really long and whether or not it's worth it depends on your trip. For me, Peter Pan's flight was always a must do. So if that meant that I had to wait an hour to ride it, I would. That said, it does have an amazing queue. The queue for Peter Pan's flight makes it feel like you are walking into the darling's house, into the kid's bedroom. And my favorite kind of queue is one that like puts you in the movie. So the interactive nature of the queue, there's like little games you can play and stuff. It, it does make the wait feel a little bit easier. Poor Nana. Poor Nana? Poor father. Several readers mentioned that although Peter Pan's flight is a historic Disney ride, it's also plagued with issues like long lines and outdated sets. Does Peter Pan's flight ever have a short wait? And the long wait combined with the short ride, eh, kind of a letdown. Reviewer Rebecca is about to share some real talk. They said, I know that this is so iconic for some people, but I personally don't really care for it. The best part is the beginning when you fly over London, but the rest of it is just not that great. 
I would wait maybe 30 minutes for this one, but not much longer. It's definitely not a must do for me. Keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. I know it's iconic and super historic. The pros. The interactive queue through the rooms of the Darling House is a really fun distraction from the long wait. When you think of Fantasyland, you probably think of Peter Pan's flight. This is a great dark ride for young kids, not too scary and lots of fun. The cons, the queue, well, it doesn't totally offset the long waits. It's not the most exciting ride and some of the scenes are, well, outdated. At three minutes long, this ride is short, especially if you just spent 90 minutes waiting in line. Your pick for the second top opening day attraction in Walt Disney World with a rating of 8.91. Walt Disney World Railroad. Walt Disney loved trains. It was one of the man's many passions. He loved them so much that when he designed the park, he had an authentic steam-powered train placed in Magic Kingdom with stations located in Main Street USA, Frontierland, and Fantasyland. This classic attraction is a must-do for train and Disney history buffs, or for people who would just enjoy taking a ride around Magic Kingdom. Anytime I'm in a Disneyland-style park, i.e. Disneyland, Magic Kingdom, I have to pay tribute to Walt by riding the train. Walt was obsessed with trains. This was arguably the, Walt's favorite part of Disneyland, the full working antique train that went all the way around and still does to this day, Disneyland. I wish it were currently operating in Magic Kingdom. Of course, operation has been suspended until Tron, the new roller coaster in Tomorrowland is completed. But as soon as it's back, I will not miss a trip on the train when I am in Magic Kingdom. The Walt Disney Railroad is one of the first things people see at Magic Kingdom and the train whistle is often one of the first things heard too. The full tour is a 1.5 mile circle and it takes about 20 minutes, obviously less if you hop off at a train station. The railroad travels at about 10 to 12 miles per hour and there's also a recorded narration that describes all the sights. Reviewer Melissa Andela said, I love the Walt Disney World Railroad. Not only is it a great relaxing way to get from one area of the park to another, it's an attraction in itself. I love seeing views of the park from the train while listening to the commentary over the speakers. The railroad is also just like a super relaxing attraction and it's a great way to get around Magic Kingdom when you're a little tired instead of having to walk all the way across the park. You can just hop on the railroad, feel the breeze, see the little scenes, just Oh, yes, 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 we love the railroad. Walt Disney himself loved trains. A lot of people that knew him actually jokes that Walt only built Disneyland to have a full-size train. Um, Walt Disney had a train in his backyard, and Walt Disney's love of trains is why there is a steam-style engine in every Magic Kingdom-style park around the world. Um, and in most of the parks, they're actually real steam engines. Like, yes, that, that train in the Magic Kingdom is a real steam engine powered the same way it was. And one of the train uh, engines, the Roy O. Disney train car is over a hundred years old. That's amazing. It is, this is like writing history. The Disney World Railroad is not just an attraction as you can ride it to get around the park or just for fun and let's be real, a chance to sit down. Some people might argue that walking is faster so it might not be the best source for a quick trip, but it's certainly a fun way to get around Magic Kingdom. The pros? It's really not a bad way to spend 20 minutes while you make a circuit all the way around Magic Kingdom while, you know, relaxing your feet. The Disney World Railroad has unique views of Magic Kingdom you won't find anywhere else. When it comes to function, the Disney World Railroad might be a slow way to make your way around the park, but it's also a pretty easy way to make your way around the park. The cons? Some of our readers mentioned missing this attraction since it's been closed for some time, which, yes, is a huge bummer. If you're not into a leisurely train ride, it might not be the most exciting entertainment you seek in Disney World. This is not the transportation option for people who want to book it across Magic Kingdom. And your pick for the number one top opening day attraction in Walt Disney World with a rating of 9.34. Haunted Mansion. 
The classically spooky haunted mansion that we all love is located in Liberty Square of Magic Kingdom in all its English Tudor style glory. This dark ride is a slow moving tour of the haunted mansion aboard a doom buggy vehicle using Disney's Omnimover technology that allows for ride vehicles to continue moving, stopping only occasionally to assist guests who may need a little extra help. The attraction takes you on a journey to explore 999 happy haunts as you transcend from the mansion to the cemetery. No surprise here that Haunted Mansion is number one. This is probably the most iconic cult follow-y type attraction there is in Disney history. People love this attraction and for good reason. It's, it's a perfect Disney attraction. It's spooky, it's scary, it's thrilling, but it's still a family attraction. It's fun, it'll make you laugh, it'll make you gasp. And the effects in this attraction are so good from over 50 years ago that they are still using them to this day. They are simple but effective and this attraction is chef's kiss. Chef Dion of Lima said, a must do for any Disney fan. You did not visit the MK if you did not do this attraction. Now that the pre-show is back, the charm of the hill experience is restored. An excellent balance of spooky and fun. Lots of practical effects put to use. I just wish we had a hat box ghost. The Haunted Mansion queue was redesigned in early 2011 to become more interactive, and cast members are allowed to be more stoic for the Haunted Mansion, which adds to the spooky experience. When you enter the Haunted Mansion, you first visit the iconic pre-show with four stretching portraits that transition from what look like happy portraits only to reveal frightening images of near-death experiences. Once on the ride, guests make their way through the Haunted Mansion to the cemetery below. Reviewer Percusizing said, the effects, the atmosphere, everything about this ride is amazing. It is not only entertaining, but relaxing. Having grown up on the Disneyland version, I like how Disney World made more rooms. Overall, I cannot think of anything bad about this ride. My favorite Haunted Mansion character is obviously Madame Leota. Leota Tombs, legendary Imagineer, and incredible actress two different places in Haunted Mansion, both Madame Leota with her head inside the crystal ball and the little mini bride at the end of the ride. Thank you, Leota. In Magic Kingdom, the Haunted Mansion has even inspired a store called Memento Mori, filled with popular merchandise. Even though it debuted in 1971 in Magic Kingdom, the Haunted Mansion is still majorly popular from the ride to merchandise and beyond. The pros. Because Imagineers originally disagreed on the style of the ride, they compromised to make the Haunted Mansion not just scary, but also funny. Grim grinning ghosts will follow you home for a long time, or maybe forever. The stretching portraits, the narration, it sets the tone for the whole ride. The cons. There's funny parts of Haunted Mansion, but there's also a lot of scary scenes, and it's also very dark. Be aware that could upset your younger kiddos. As one of the most popular rides, you can generally expect a longish wait. If ghosts or haunts or ghouls or scary noises or you get the idea, if none of those are amusing to you, you probably won't enjoy Haunted Mansion. So the big question, did your favorite OG Disney World attraction make it to the top four? I know one of mine didn't, so uh, after I'm done with this video, I'm heading over to allears.net to leave my review, and yes, you can do it too. Get to www.allears.net. You can review everything Disney Parks related, hotels, restaurants, rides, characters, lawn treatments, maybe not those, and more, but there's more, there's a lot more, and it's all up to you to change this list right now. Just get there, leave your own review, and who knows, your opinion may be the one that tips the scale. If you like this video, please go ahead, click that thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned to All Ears TV and AllEars.net for more Disney news. Follow us on social media at All Ears Net. New to the channel? Check out our other All Ears videos right here. And please subscribe to All Ears Net. That's over here. Clang the little notification bell when it pops up. You'll immediately get notified when we post a new video. This is Chris for All Ears TV. See you next time.